Geometry Dash is a game where you can click and hold your way to victory as the level progresses. That being said, this game can get quite difficult, so today, I'll be explaining every difficulty in the game and how they play out. So first, we have levels rated 2 stars. Basically, every 2 star is now completely auto. This is because of the copious amounts of safeguards used in these levels. This means that 2 stars are now just autos. Next, we have 3 stars. A 3 star is also just auto. This is because 3 stars are viewed as basically an easy, but not quite. However, this turned into being equal to easies, which are auto. This is a problem I've noticed with time passing because even though the skill ceiling is going higher, the skill floor is also dropping, which means the average player is getting worse and worse. After 3 comes 4, so we have 4 stars next. When you think 4 stars, you think of an average level. After all, 4 is a bit less than half of a demon, so you would, you would think it is, you know, a bit less than half of a demon, but it isn't. 4 stars have gameplay, but the gameplay is like a 2 star in 1.9. Moving on. When you think of a 5 star, what type of gameplay would you think of? Usually, the gameplay would look something like this, but currently, a normal rated 5 star would look like this. Please note how literally nothing changed. This is because 5 stars are consistent with 5 stars from 1.9 and 1.0, meaning this difficulty is perfectly fine. For 6 stars, I think that 6 stars are equal to 5 stars. Look at these next two levels and compare their difficulties. This problem isn't just a modern thing either. I noticed this has also been happening for a while. This means that 6 stars are also just 5 stars. Now, with 7 stars, things turn interesting. I've noticed that they have a very large range of difficulty, ranging from 4 stars to easy demon in terms of actual difficulty. Take a look. For 8 stars, they are usually easy demon. This has been happening since the game was created due to the fact that 8 stars are very close to easy demon, so it makes sense that they bleed into each other. 8 stars also have more sight readable gameplay than easy demons. Moving on. When we take a look at 9 stars, they are very inconsistent. 9 stars are between easy and hard demon. Take a look at this level and think about how it's a 9 star. Easy demons are much closer to their actual rating, due to demons being rated by the community instead of Robtop. However, easy demons can be easier than they really are, because they can be close to 6 or 7 stars instead. Medium demons are, actually, completely normal. They are consistent over the entirety of Geometry Dash. That's because 1.0 medium demons are the same as 2.2 medium demons, and all the way through. If the level is rated hard demon, it is usually around hard demon. This means that it is medium to insane demon, so it's pretty close to its actual rating. The reason why it isn't completely hard demon is because hard demon is the difficulty a demon receives once it gets rated demon. Insane demons can be explained really fast. These levels are between hard and extreme demon in actual difficulty. Extreme demons are the hardest difficulty in the game, so these levels have only been getting harder and harder as time passes. Obviously the hardest level will be much harder than Red World, but they are still both the same difficulty. This means that Extreme Demon is quite a large range of difficulty, but not as big of a range as 7 stars. I decided to make a chart for this video basically showing difficulty ranges and how they overlap. And that's basically it for this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe because I'm in love with numbers.